Hello, welcome. My name is Cindy St. Martin, and I'm with Cindy'sHealing.com, and you're watching my weekly angel oracle card reading and tarot card reading for the week of September 2nd. So, how are you doing? I hope you took advantage of the energies of the blue moon uh, this uh, last week and uh, and uh, took a walk and surrender. It's a time of surrendering what no longer uh, serves you well or any form of uh, changes that you want to make. So you might want to surrender uh, things that addictions or things you want out of your life. And now. Um, it's time to uh, for healing and energizing and all of that so that's it's a great moon for that like the old saying once in a blue moon well this was your chance to do this so I hope you took advantage of it so this week I like to tell you that on Wednesday is my birthday so September is a big wonderful month for me so uh, I appreciate all your good wishes and blessings that you uh, can send me so that would be wonderful so today I'm going to I'm going to pick three cards from three different decks uh, and the first deck I'm going to the angel therapy cards I already call upon the angels and the ascended masters to come and uh, help me with this reading now I bought a new microphone so I hope uh, you can hear me much better let's hope so I'm going to shuffle the deck All right, I'm going to cut the deck. And the first card is the Ascended Masters. Now, if you took a good look at this, there are a lot of them on on this card. Um, and it and it reads powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. So know that they're, uh, you can call on them at any time, and they're all non-denominal. So you don't have to be of a particular uh, relation, uh, religion or uh, beliefs to call upon them. So they're available for anyone. And Ascend the Master is someone who once lived here on earth and has ascended up to, to the heavens. So um, all your um, uh, leaders from different religious or uh, masters of different religions are you can call upon any of them so that's really good so they know that they're there it's telling you um, they're telling you they want you to call on them so they're there to help you and to call on them with any any of your concerns or problems so the next deck I'm going to use the romantic cards and we'll see what happens with that and we'll put the reading together Okay, I'm going to cut the deck. And the card is Retreat. And it reads, It's time to disconnect from the world. Okay. Uh, maybe some of you are overwhelmed. Or you want your cause of the of the blue moon it's time for changes to happen and so you need to probably go away disconnect from the world for a while this is a holiday weekend um, maybe some of you are uh, if you're in the United States it's a holiday weekend um, you can get away for a while go for a walk a nice walk go out in outdoors and um, take time to think call on the ascendant masters help you with changes that you're thinking about making now understand this if it's a thought process if you're thinking about it then it's something that must happen okay or else it wouldn't have been a thought process in, in your mind if you are so sure of who you are and what you're doing then there's no thinking about changing so if you're just the thought process of thinking of it means you need to take action. So you call upon the Ascendant Masters, um, Jesus, Buddha, any of those, um, 
that, um, or the saints, anyone like that, to help and guide you um, to take time to go on retreat and uh, pray or meditate, put your intentions out there and surrender, and, and ask them how, they, how you can make these changes um, to be successful, which way to go to lead and guide you and support you throughout your changes so you can continue and not stop. A lot of times uh, we, we decide to make changes just like if we decided to go on a diet and exercise and we're all for all power to it and we get started on it and then we stop. Okay. So you want to call upon them, uh, the Ascendant Masters, to help you, keep you motivated and get through with these changes because they are calling out to you. It's who you're supposed to be. Okay, so let's do the tarot cards and see what the tarot cards have to say. All right, I'm going to cut the deck. And it's the Queen of Fire. And it reads, stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. Okay, it goes well with the your changes that you're making um, or want to make. You go on to the retreat. You ask for the, uh, the Sending Master's help and stretch your wings. Go for it. They're behind you all the way. Your faith. If you're in the knowing, if you are fearless, and fearless doesn't mean doing things dangerously. No, it means having the courage to make the changes and to become fearless, and the Ascending Masters can help. So, assert your independence and creativity. Yes, retreat. Time to do that. So that's really wonderful. And these cards are perfect um, in the aftermath of the blue moon. Even if you didn't take advantage of the blue moon, it's not too late. Um, you want to try and um, take on the energies because the energies roll over for a few days afterwards. And in the whole month of September, we want to work on those positive changes and and um, and healing for ourselves as we move forward to the end of the Mayan calendar in December. So for the major changes, so I thank you. For watching uh, oh I didn't pull out the Archangel Michael prayers I'll be right back <laughs> okay I'm back <laughs> so our prayer for the week okay I'm going to shuffle them I was looking at my decks and I'm saying, hmm, there's something missing. I have such a busy day today and, uh, and I have a lot to do, so I have a lot on my mind. I guess I should have asked for more focus from the angels to guide me. My grandson's uh, second birthday party is today and I'm trying to help my daughter get things together for the party. Okay, let's see what Archangel Michael has to say. It says, positive thoughts create positive results. Isn't that a colorful picture? It's a rainbow uh, with Archangel Michael. You can see he's carrying that sword in his hand. And, and the car, uh, the prayer reads, Divine love and wisdom, I call upon you now. I know that, that my mind and emotions are eternally and con continuously connected to you. I ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person and situation. This is wonderful. And again, it goes with these cards calling on help. For, uh, for the changes, positive results 
and the changes that you're going to make. So, you know, you're, you're most powerful when you have um, God and the Ascended Masters and everyone behind you on this. So you become extremely powerful. And so don't fear and don't worry. And it's, it's all great. So in light of my birthday month, I'm offering uh, the special, if you uh, like me on Facebook and uh, join my contact, page information page if you do both uh, you'll be entered in a contest to get a free reading from me and I will select two people every week for the month of September and so you could uh, be a winner for that now if you're already on both uh, Facebook and my con and contact information you're automatically entered into the contest so don't worry everyone who does both now if you're my contact and not on my Facebook, um, then like me on Facebook. Now, if you don't do Facebook and you're on my contact, let me know, send me a message because I will still enter you into the contest. So I'm curious to see uh, who will I meet as winners for uh, my birthday month of September. So I thank you for watching today. I hope you have a magnificent week. I know I will be uh, this holiday weekend. I uh, gathered with friends and all to uh, celebrate uh, my 53rd birthday. So, and a, a blessing for me and uh, and everyone who celebrates with me. So, have a great week. Please come back and see me next week. Uh, visit if you want any information on me. Visit my website at cindyshealing.com. There you get the information for. Uh, my Facebook page, and the contact page. So I look forward to seeing you all. Have a great week. Remember, you are divine, and surrender your ego, and you'll be magnificent. So until next week, I'll see you. Bye-bye.